Alright, so here we are in Radiant and let's just start off with a basic explanation of all of this in the screen here. Well, most of it. Uh, the things we're going to use because most of the things that are on here are just something that I've never used, like all of this. Like, what the fuck is that? I don't know. So, um, this here is the grid and this is used to draw your brushes in. So you're gonna click on here and you can create like square brushes like that now with this camera here with this 3D window you can move around and look at what you've created so how this works is you put your mouse on it you hold your right mouse button and you just move your mouse around and you'll see that you can just uh, replace your view around on your map so um, that's quite helpful <laughs> so now when you hold control and um, hold the right mouse button and then move your mouse up and down you will go up and down if you release control you will just go backwards and forwards now when you hold control and shift at the same time and your right mouse button you will just look down and up left and right that's easy shit isn't it so now that you know that um, this is obviously the texture window to texture your brushes and this here is a console and no one ever uses it maybe somebody does but I don't uh, it's kinda useless so uh, there we go now um, we have this tool here hollow what this does is no wait I'll go over that in a minute it's better that I explain this now this is your um, axis tool it's to change your view so now we have a side view of our uh, brush now we have another side view probably this one no wait this one yeah this is a side view we have now and this is a top view like this that's the view we have now so now if you want to make our brush higher we just change our axis and we can drag hold left mouse button and just drag this up like that now how to select your brushes to uh, enlarge or just make them smaller well all you have to do is hold shift and click on the object or click on your brush whatever just whenever you hold shift you will be able to click on your brush if you don't hold shift nothing will happen now if you just want to select one face of your brush like this then you have to hold control and shift at the same time and then just click on the brush and whichever face that you want to select click on it again to deselect it easy as fuck isn't it all you have to do is just remember it and you're good to go so now what I was gonna say about the tool here is that now when you go inside of this box you can see that it's not hollow you, when you go inside of it you're inside of it so now when you click on hollow here it's suddenly it's a box with something inside of it walls so you can create that you can use that to create a sky box and uh, I'm gonna tell you now this tool is really helpful really helpful um, now what else we've got we have got um, uh, this here and what this does is when you've got a really huge map like oh, let me see if I got one one minute yeah this one okay so this is a really huge map for promo that I once started making and you'll see that this map is huge as fuck and my PC will probably lag like hell as you can see my grid here it's kinda huge 
and if you look at the top view, side view, and the top view, these are all squares just created like this, all of them. So you can see how time consuming a map is. I really hate how people often whine about um, their map being badly rated and they've only worked on their map for like a week. That's just fucking stupid. You should know how long I've been working on this map. It's been years, I think. Just on and off. And it's still long from done. So. What was I going to show? Oh yeah. Um, this tool here. So as you can see, you can f look far into the distance now. And for some computers, this might not be ideal. So um, if you press this, you will decrease your view distance and so you can work without any lag so that's really helpful um, click on it again to put it away so now you see what we can create with um, Radiant if you follow my tutorials <laughs> so if you really want to know how to make all of this shit or um, make some quite complicated stuff like this wall here this took me fucking years to make I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna go I've explained everything that I wanted to explain in this video uh just the interface and all that so the next video I will be building just a basic house and explaining some of the tools and shortcuts ah uh, hotkeys I mean to change your brushes to change your um shape of your brushes and how to cut out some stuff out of your brushes and just some helpful tips that will get you on the way really good to make a good map so um, I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching and sorry for making this so long um, so, I'll see so here we are in our Call of Duty in MP tutorial the best map ever made and as you can see this is our global intermission that we created and now let's spawn just click player and here we are in our map we can run around and this is what the cog does you can just see through the walls it's solid but it won't render so you can just look right through it that's what cog does so here's our map and you might have noticed the rainbow colors on my hands and my gun well I'll teach you how to fix that in the next video and in the next video I'll also explain how we can create terrain and add some models maybe hmm. yep that's what we're gonna do sounds like a plan well I don't know I'll just see what I'm gonna do in the next tutorial whatever I feel like doing. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. See you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.